Hey guys, Will here, and today I've got the Aperture MC. It's a super compact RGB light packed with a heap of different features that make it a great solution for portable lighting. I've used this one over the past few videos for lighting different products and different scenes too. And at $150, I think it's great value for money, especially at how accurate the colors are with this one and also how bright it gets too. First up, there's a protective pouch for the light to fit into. There's a couple of different compartments on this one. One in the front to put the light in and one in the back. You could probably fit some cards or some smaller things in the back there. There's a belt loop on attached to the back of the pouch as well as a carabiner clip, which makes it handy if you need to clip it onto something on your backpack, for example. There's a hot shoe mount. So that just slides into the hot shoe mount on your camera. And then this one screws into the bottom of the MC and you can adjust where this one sits too. It came with an Allen wrench so that you can tighten and adjust this screw on the back of it. There's a USB-C to USB-A charging cable. It's a really nice premium looking cable. It's braided. There's also these Velcro sticky pads and these will attach to the back of the MC and then the other one you can put inside of a lampshade, for example. And lastly, there's a diffuser that wraps over the MC itself to diffuse the light that comes out of it. This one's very well designed in that all the cutouts inside of the diffuser line up with the controls on the MC so you can still access all the different controls and even see the OLED screen display at the top. There's a space between the light and the diffuser to ensure that it diffuses the light properly. So instead of it being such a harsh light, it's a much softer light instead. In terms of build quality, this one feels quite premium with all the buttons and controls being quite responsive. It's made from a combination of plastic and aluminium and has this red accent around the outside of the front LED panel, which looks pretty nice. There's these super strong magnets on the back of the housing and the top LED panel looks quite easy to read with everything being spaced out nicely. The size of the MC is similar to that of a credit card and it's about a finger's width wide, which makes it a great choice if you're looking for a smaller form factor light. The MC has a brightness rating of 400 lux with full hue, saturation and intensity control, meaning you can pretty much recreate any color that you want. There's three main lighting modes, HSI, CCT and FX. HSI is for your colors. CCT is a bicolor light with a range of 3200 to 6500 Kelvin and FX is a set of nine different lighting effects for movie style scenes. Also magnets. These two on the back here are very strong. They'll stick to pretty much anything metal very well. And they'll even stick to a wall stud if you can locate one. So they're pretty well suited for run and gun style setups. These are strong enough to wear. You don't have to worry about them coming unstuck at all. And they'll even stick to something that's being moved around or is mobile without coming off easily. And speaking of being mobile, it makes a great on-camera light to use while you're vlogging. You could even use it as a key light, it'd be great for those purposes, or even low light video or photography. So what about charging? Well, there's three different ways to charge DMC. You can use a wireless charging pad, in which case it'll take three and a half hours to reach a full charge. You can use the supplied USB-C cable, which takes less time at only two hours, or you can plug it into a power bank, which will not only run the light, but also charge the battery at the same time. So given that power banks have such a larger battery, Battery life is pretty much a non-issue. One thing I did notice though when using a power bank is that the light will get substantially hotter. But if you have it externally mounted and you're not hanging onto it, this isn't really an issue. But it is just something to keep in mind. There's two other points to keep in mind whilst using the MC with a power bank. The first is cable length. Make sure to use a nice and short USB-C cable and that makes sure that the light still has 100% output. Another point is that the power bank should be rated to at least 5 volts, 2 amps. If it's anything less than 2 amps, again, the light output suffers by 20% increments all the way down to zero. So make sure that your power bank has at least a rating of, of 5 volt, 2 amp, and you shouldn't have any issues. Next up is the Citus Link app, which allows you to have complete wireless control over the MC and change things like hue, saturation, and intensity, and even turn on and off the different lighting effects. This is really handy if you have the light mounted in a really tricky spot and you can't get to the wireless controls easily. Another part I really like about this app is that it can use a color picker feature which makes it so that you can take a picture with your phone 
and it recreates the color in that picture and shines it through the light. This is really helpful if you're trying to set up a scene and you need all the lights to be the same for continuity. And from what I've experienced, it's actually pretty accurate. So instead of having to stand there and trying to work out what the color temperature is so you can set the scene up right, it's just so much easier. The MC and Citus Link uses a mesh network, meaning that every new light that's added to the network works as a signal booster and therefore increases the strength of the network. So every new light that's added, as long as it's within 80 meters of one another, you can set up a range of up to 400 meters and still be able to change the settings of each individual light. So the MC can also be purchased in a travel kit of four or a production kit of 12 lights. And each of the cases has inbuilt wireless charging pads, so you don't have to deal with a bunch of different charging cables. On the side of the MC are manual controls, which include a control wheel that also acts as a button when pressed in to navigate through the lights menu settings. Beside that is the on off switch, along with a USB-C port for charging. Underneath the light is a quarter inch 20 thread for mounting to tripods or camera rigs easily as well. On top is an OLED display that lets you know the battery level, Bluetooth connection and mode and adjustment levels of the light. A long press in of the control wheel will bring you to the main menu where you can select which mode you want the light to be in. For example, if you select HSI, it will then give you options to change the levels of intensity, hue and saturation by using the control wheel and to change between the three, you simply press the control wheel in once. Press and hold the control wheel once to return to the main menu. And next up is FX. This allows you to select between nine different special effects, including fire. I don't want to scare anyone, but I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. Five long years he's been dormant. And he's hungry. <laughs> Bluetooth makes it so you can reset the Bluetooth connection if you're having trouble seeing it on your smartphone or need to unpair it for a group of lights to use with a different setup. CCT is a white only light where you can change the color temp from 3200 to 6500K. Press the button again to switch to the intensity level and I like how you can fine tune the intensity by 1% increments. I know it's not the case for other LED lights of this size and cost to be able to get such a fine adjustment, which is a real benefit of the MC. You know, sometimes you just want a very dimly lit light in the background that isn't too overbearing. So to recap, wireless charging, wireless control, well-designed app, super bright for its size, magnetic mounting, all make this a very versatile light and well worth picking up if you're a content creator. So that's everything from me. If you're interested in picking one of these up, there'll be a link to it down in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this coming up soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.